What's going on, y'all? It feels good to make a semen retention video. You know, when, when I make these videos, I feel like it's going to be listened to. You know, I tried to dip my toe into the MGTOW community. They didn't like me over there. I was a little bit too um, rough, I guess. I was a little bit too honest for them. It is what it is, you know. But that's why here in the semen retention community, I already saw the difference because there's a lot more self-responsibility in the semen retention community where they're ready to blame people and project their, you know, fallacies, their weaknesses onto other people. It is what it is. I'm not judging you, but I, I saw enough. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I'm just going to step away from them and let them go play in their, in their sandbox. So, semen retention people. Before I begin, I would like to just give you the disclaimer that I am not specifically a semen retention channel, even though I do enjoy talking about it. And I do enjoy guiding people that are new to this space. Um, I also talk about law of attraction, manifestation, uh, how your mind is supposed to work for you, the subconscious mind, how you need to reprogram it to see the results that you want to see in your life, crystals, life advice, all that type of stuff. So if there's anything you want me to talk about or if you need someone just to chat with, I have a discord and I've also just made some social media. I really don't like social media and I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but time will tell. You know what I'm saying? So all of that is in the description below. If you want to hit me up, hit me up. I got you. Or if you just want to leave a comment, we can talk here too. That's easy. So let me give you all a little bit of a timeline. If you watch any of my old, oh, not, not necessarily old, but my older, previous is the word I'm looking for, semen retention videos, you'll see that I'm pretty consistent with my timelines. A couple of days, a week, a month, and about two to three months, and then beyond, right? So I want to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of each one, uh, each phase that you're going to see, things you're going to feel, and things that you're going to start to notice about yourself and other people around you, all right? So day two and three, you know, like day one, two, three, you know, the first half of that first week is going to be rough for some of y'all. Some of y'all are going to literally go crazy. All right. But you need to understand that this is the hardest. This is the hardest part of semen retention is the first three days. I want to just go ahead and just say the first week, but the first two to three days is the hardest, the hardest part. Once you make it through those, it literally gets easier. Instead of every single waking second you want to like jack off or something, it becomes like, you know, every like once a day, then once every other day, then once every couple days, then once a week. And it just builds from there and builds from there and builds from there. So you got to make it through those first couple of days. That is very important. Very important. All right. So in the first couple of days, you're going to be in hell. You're gonna, your balls going to feel like they're on fire. You're ready to shoot your load wherever you want to. Like, I'm just being real with you. All right. So I want you to understand that you're not going to notice anything. But if you can survive that first day, you'd be like, I feel kind of powerful. You know, I feel kind of full already. You know, and it's like so that's what that's about all you'll notice in the early days. We the first week is a, the first milestone that I consider. You know, I consider that the first milestone because you a lot of people say, yo, I can't imagine a day where I couldn't go without doing that. You went seven times longer than that. So you have to think about it that way. All right. At about a week, you're going to start to notice like, wait a minute, I'm starting to feel kind of good. You know what I'm saying? You're going to and then you're going to you're going to begin to walk around with that level of like, I'm feeling good everywhere. And people are going to start to pick up on that uh, on that energy that you are projecting from yourself. You are now filling yourself back up with energy and that energy literally comes out of your skin. That's what some people call the pheromones and people hippy dippies like me. That's the energy. That's your aura. That's going to start transmitting a different type of energy. You know, you might hear a couple of like, hey, you, you seem like you're in a good mood because you're going to overall be in a higher mood. You're in a higher vibration. And I said I'm on the hippy dippy stuff. So I'm just telling you all everything that's going on. You know, when you're at the low vibration, when you feel sorry for yourself, when you feel like a loser, that's very low vibratory energy. But when you start to regain that sexual energy, that energy that you were spilling out to your favorite sock, you know, you start rising back up. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm feeling good. Think about it really simply. You feel sad. You feel happy. Which one feels better to you? You see what I'm saying? And you are going to be default in happy mode. You know, there might be some other mental stuff you need to do, but hey, it is what it is. And then around like from that week to the month, you're going to start noticing people are looking at you differently. You're going to start noticing that the world's a little bit different. If you've seen the movie Limitless, like when he takes the pill that gives him like super, super intelligence and all that type of stuff. It's like when he takes that pill, the world just seems brighter. That's what you're going to start to experience. You might like, wait a minute. You know, it's like I'm looking women dead, dead in the eye. I, and there's some women I just don't even feel that I'm attracted to. They're pretty, 
but they're not they're not for me you know what i'm saying it's like oh see not her though you see what i'm saying and then your level of horniness it might be like a, just a couple of days here and there that get a little tough you know you're starting to make this a habit this new thing your body is starting to get used to it takes 21 days to form a new habit so when you make it to that first month you're going to be you you're you've habitualized not masturbating every 2 seconds all right and hopefully this entire time you've been putting all this new energy towards your body you know like working out exercising you've been drinking more water at least a gallon a day or like it says like or like the the rule of thumb is half of your body weight in ounces i just drink a gallon plus a day so you know it is what it is keeps your skin clear keeps your muscles you know lubricated and all that type of stuff and it helps your organs drink water screw gatorade screw all that type of stuff drink water all right so then let's say like the next one is the month the month plus like the month to three months that's when you like really start to see a lot of the benefits, a lot of the female attraction, a lot of people just giving you respect, a lot of people just being in a better mood when you're around. Because once again, your energy is infectious at this point. You just, you're walking around full of energy. The female attraction happens because you are literally pumping out pheromones that you were spilling into a sock. They're now coming out of your pores and you're just feeling amazing now. You know, and women pick up on that. Trust me, they pick up on that. And they're in a better mood around you. They talk to you a little bit more, a lot more conversations happen just because of this energy they don't know it but you know it one of the other tips i, I learned in the very beginning of my journey is don't run around telling people you almost see me retention i'm gonna see me retention now if there's one of your boys that you're trying to help and say hey yo you might want to try this you will see that a lot of men are not willing to try what you are trying if you're watching this video you've already accepted the challenge and you're trying to do research on it or you're trying to find motivation to stay on it so you need to congratulate yourself you're doing something that most men will not touch and they'll tell you all, your masturbation is good, a lot of sex is good, it's been scientifically proven. Maybe. But there's also some science that says that semen retention is very good too. So which end of that do you want to be on? You know, like I said, I have another video about why I don't think semen retention is supposed to be permanent. You know, get what you get from it. If you choose to go on as long as possible, for me, it's like I'm going on until I find a, a woman worth it. A high value woman. You know, semen retention makes you a high value man. So... I'm going to wait until there's a high value woman. You're going to see the difference because you're going to start to see girls that you used to be attracted to. You can be like, yo, like, what's good with you? But then since you're operating from a higher vibration now, you're going to see some women come up to you and show you some interest. And you're going to be like, you're hiding something or I can see your emotional instabilities and stuff like that. You can start to read people a little bit easier because now you're from your masculine frame and your masculine frame is trying to attract someone that's just as equally in their feminine frame. You know, so you're going to see them and be like, you're missing something. I don't know what it is, but you're missing something because you're so mass. You're becoming more and more masculine and in control, calm, stable that when you look at them, you can be like, I need I expect the same thing from you. And you're not giving me that energy. You know, you'll start to be a little bit more sensitive to energy at that point because you are that energy. It's like, I need a match. So. At this point, at around two, three months is when you hit cruising altitude. The doors are opening up for you. Your passions are becoming more and more clear to you. Your purpose is coming more and more clear to you. You know, and the, the, the power that sex originally had over you or your sexual drive, your primal instinct, whatever you want to call it, had over you is pretty much gone because now you are in full control of it. You know, it's like if you choose to lay with somebody and you, and you want to come off of the energy, that's your decision. But I do think it's very important for people to at least make it to that, that three month mark, that two to three month mark. You'll see. Trust me. All right. So that's pretty much it. If you need me to go into more detail with anything, feel free um, to ask. If you need me to go into any examples, any stories, I'll be making more semen retention videos. So if you're interested, stick around. Um, but yeah, all the all the hippy dippy stuff that's there, too. If you want to talk to me, I got you. All right. Good luck, everybody. Till the next one.